Well, 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 members of the Safe Moon community are doing a little bit of digging around and it's looking more and more like Safe Moon might be getting staking very, very soon. We have a couple reference points. I'm also going to share what the community is engaging in the conversations with this. What are their thoughts about it? I'll share my thoughts a little bit later on, and I would love to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you to go do your own research. And with that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into the news. Over here, we can see on Twitter, Danology has posted hashtag SafeMoon staking rewards contract on testnet. Couple things to note here. SafeMoon Spidey points out showing you think that contract is something they are still looking at. That one is almost six months old. But Danology responds by saying the transactions on it are only six days old. Internal transactions, eight days old. And SafeMoon Spidey says, did you notice that some of the transactions for that contract is interacting with one of SafeMoon's partners too? And as we pull this up right here, we can see that there is that association with DX Sale. So very interesting to be seeing that going on. Valhalla says, I noticed them when you messaged me telling me to look. Crypto C James also sharing some information right here. And moving on, we can also see SafeMoon Spidey pointing out, retweeted, SafeMoon retweeted the Blockbuster text video in comments, and Danology found a smart contract from almost six months ago that has recently been active on Testnet. What do they both have in common? Staking, staking rewards. Smart Staker, BBTF, Mirror Protocol, SafeMoon Partners, and this posted of the pause in the video from that with Blockbusters Tech and this showing Smart Staker. Our goal here is to bring in easy mechanisms for tokens. And scrolling down, let's go ahead and see what some other people are saying in the community. Even smelly crap coins are up in this rally. Why is SafeMoon in the red? Investors are losing hope, man. And then they're trying to tag uh, the CEO of SafeMoon. So as you guys can see, as even though people are noticing some optimistic things through their own research this isn't coming from the safe moon team they're not putting this stuff out there trying to do little teasers or whatever the community came together and found this stuff and then here is someone that's just wanting to complain because the price is down while some other projects have been seeing some movement up but can't please everyone safe moon spidey responds saying i'm not losing hope at all I know that creating an innovation takes time. It sucks to have to wait, but I have learned a lot about patience, dollar cost averaging, and watching reading the market. I think those that hodl, well, we are going to make it. I could be wrong, but it's what I believe. SafeMoon Eve says, I was watching that video again, too, trying to see what SafeMoon wants us to see. LOL, good job. And Spidey responds saying, there were a few things on there, but that is what stuck out to me since Dan had just posted about it this morning. LOL. And then this one I really thought was interesting. Safeman Grove posts this. It's a previous tweet from the CEO, John Caroni. This is dated back on December 6th of 2022, where he ran this poll and he said, should we do a staking pool or burn for future product volume, i.e. SafeMoon cards, swap, exchange, etc. What do you think? And Spidey says, there is nothing saying that they are replacing the burn in tokenomics yet since that poll. However, John did say that there is another innovation that is coming to SafeMoon Swap that could make the community change their mind about what to keep the burn in tokenomics. Shoutouts to SafeMoon Spidey pulling a lot of this information together. And also shoutouts to Danology. Both of these members of the community really putting in some good work here. And then I'm just helping to compile their notes together and present it in a video such as this. And this little image here we can see from the Discord channel, in which John Crony says, what if you could spend from your staking pool? Not saying we are doing this, just a thought. And that was stated back on December 6th of 2022. He said, tagged you, tagged this guy or girl, 
And then also goes on to say, we'll do the poll again after we release the next Safe Moon Swap innovation. Please go and do the poll on Twitter. Since then, because here we are, we're in January of 2023, we've had a couple of things come up. We now have support for Solana. We now have the SafeMoon Orbital Shield. We also have the announcement of the NFT Marketplace coming up. And some little minor updates also within the SafeMoon wallet. So primarily, I would be looking at the SafeMoon Orbital Shield is more than likely what they were talking about here. And um, they're, well, they're specifically saying, John Caroni is saying about the next SafeMoon swap innovation. So I could have that a little bit off there. It might have something to do more with the uh, bridging or some other mechanic. SafeMoon Addict pointing out there will still be a burn, but we need staking rewards as well. Staking is not fully replacing the burn. I think some interpreted it this way is why the poll was voted wrong in my opinion. We need both staking and burn. Can't be all burn and can't be all staking. Spidey responds by saying they are not getting rid of the burn. However, how they get tokens to burn could change. They have a contract that is live from 30 days ago that does not seem to be active yet. And included with that tweet reply is this graphic image which highlights that second transaction hash on the list which shows the age date of 30 days and 13 hours ago. And then it identifies the two create, buy, back, burn. What are my thoughts on this? Based on the evidence that's being presented, it does look like they're taking it a lot more seriously of considering doing staking for SafeMoon. My understanding is, as I've talked with third-party providers of staking services, that SafeMoon could have been involved with staking quite a while ago. I think it's just more about an issue of how they handle that with the liquidity and maybe the tokenomics adds a little bit of a degree of complexity to it. I can't remember if that was something that was also included in it, but it sounded like it was actually quite easy to get SafeMoon included in with uh, staking overnight within a 24 hour time period. I believe the biggest issue is just having the liquidity established for that staking pool and how many people would actually go in to participate with this. It could very well be quite substantial. So do they have that available? Based on things we've seen and heard in the past, seems pretty reasonable to say that they probably can do it. Will they do it? We'll have to see. Do they want to go their own route? Uh, it seems more than likely that they want to do, to do that. Maybe associating a priority here with one of the SafeMoon Swap partners, which was being highlighted in the previous post. And overall, what do I think about the burn and staking? Should we replace one with the other? Is one more favorable than the other? Well, they each have their own benefits to things. I would say that the staking is a really good design. If I had to choose between one or the other, I'd probably choose staking over the burn. Because the thing is that if you burn tokens in the supply themselves, well, things are still basically subdivisible, right? Like you could have one Bitcoin or you could have Satoshis that make up that. And then if you really needed to, you could create some subdivision of that. It's just more than likely you're not going to be seeing that happen. Whereas with the staking mechanics, people are voluntarily taking their own possession of these cryptocurrencies and removing them from access. Staking designs vary. People have it to where you could unstake it immediately. They have it also to where you got to wait six months, 12 months. You can withdraw it, but then it's only going to do one twelfth of it over the course of 12 weeks. There's lots of different ways you could approach this. And so with that staking design, though, I feel that by doing so with that, the people that own those specific tokens, if you have it approached in the more long term way, then they're participating, they're earning their rewards back, right? They're earning their interest on top of everything else, but it reduces down the selling pressure, that potential of them doing selling. If you have it to where they can easily access that, people feel a little bit more of reassurance because they're like, hey, anytime I wanna take this out, I technically can. But then there's that flip side to that, right? Where it's like, okay, they're participating in the staking, which is basically them just holding, but now they're earning even more for doing it. So 
yeah, why not just do the staking if you can just pull it out immediately? I don't know if they're trying to play around with this and see if they can approach this a little bit differently. There might be that opportunity, but realistically, if you could do both, burning and staking, I think that's the best case scenario. And that's more than likely the direction that they're gonna go. But let us know what you guys think about this down in the comments below. Again, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, just my own opinion. And I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. A double shout out, thank you to WeLoveSafeMoon.com, Victor Vegas, Safe Moon Oz for being higher level patrons. Also, thank you to my YouTube members for your support. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up like button. Check out my other videos that I got on my channel besides Safe Moon. You get a chance to learn what other projects are doing in this space. Maybe it'll give you guys some fun ideas. You'll find something that you're like, hey, that could be a really good new project or I like what they're doing. Maybe SafeMoon could do that. You could pitch the idea over to them too because guys, we are a community. We are together in this space and we're learning along the way. It's still very early on. So I appreciate all of you guys. God bless and we'll see you in the next episode.